One of the main topics discussed during the NGMN's recent industry conference and exhibition in Paris was sustainability, with multiple representatives from the communications and business ecosystem providing insights and updates during the conference sessions focused on green future networks. Now, we all know this is an incredibly important area of focus for the information, communications and technology, or ICT, sector, because it faces the challenge of minimising energy consumption and carbon emissions, while at the same time managing relentless data traffic growth. Mobile data traffic volumes grew by 31% year on year in 2021, while power consumption levels in the mobile networking sector grew by 5% and carbon emissions were up by 2%, according to statistics from the GSMA. Yet to keep global warming to no more than 1.5% as called for in the Paris Agreement, emissions need to be reduced by 45% by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050. So how can this conflict be resolved? Well, one of the industry executives who gave a presentation during the Green Future Networks conference sessions was Dr. Philip Song, Chief Marketing Officer for the Carrier Business Group at Huawei, and I'm speaking with him today. So, Dr. Song, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, so, how can mobile operators solve the conflicts between data traffic volume growth and the necessary carbon reductions they need to make? How can they reduce these emissions while still growing their businesses? So, as we all know, the International Energy Agency has a view that so energy efficiency is the first fuel. So it can solve the complication between the growth of the traffic network and the carbon reduction. So the contribution from the energy efficiency will account for more than 40% of the total carbon reduction of the whole human society till 2030. So it's one of the most effective ways to reduce the carbon emissions. So for the future, the ICT infrastructures will continue to evolve from the 5G to 5.5G and the fiber from the i5G to the i5.5G. So it's necessary for us to continuously improve the energy efficiency of the ICT infrastructures. So focusing on the energy efficiency of the ICT infrastructures and the green and the development, so Huawei firstly put forward to our the green value proposition as a Mobis Less Walls. Propose a three-layer green solutions in the industry and build a site of the systematic green development indicators systems. So uh, as you mentioned there, Huawei has built a systematic three-layer green development indicator system. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? So for sure. So it's my pleasure. So in order to balance green and development to achieve more business walls, so we think it's necessary to build a measurable three-layer green indicator system for the operation, network, and the site. So it can evaluate the energy efficiency of the, the entire network and the in identify energy efficiency gaps, formulate energy efficiency improvement goals, and improve overall network energy efficiency through end-to-end -end green solutions. So for the green operation layer, we need to think about how to formulate an operation and a maintenance strategy for energy efficiency improvement. So in order to reach our carbon emission targets. So we propose an NCIE uh, indicator to focus on the energy efficiency intensity of, of the entire network. And it, it relates to the two factors, emission factor and the electricity prices. For the green network layer, we should simplify the network architecture improve the following uh, efficiency and maximize the energy efficiency of the networks. The technology innovation direction is the all optical, simplified, and intelligence. So we defined 
NEE run and NEE network indicators, focusing on energy efficiency of the mobile and the fixed network, respectively. For the green side layer, our goal is to improve the energy efficiency of the telecom equipment and the site of facility continuously. So they are assessed by TEE and ICEE indicators. Also, we need to think about how to increase the site renewable energy ratio by applying solar solution. So as we all know, PUE has already been common used for the data center efficiency. Okay, a, a lot to think about there for the industry, a, a lot of different metrics to tackle. Um, now, Huawei's been working with network operators and industry and standards organizations on green network developments for quite some time. Uh, as a result of such interactions, what would you say is the industry best practice? So indeed, so as you said, about green development, Huawei has a lot of cooperation with the global operators and the industry and the standard organizations. So for example, two, month, uh, two months ago, so we have completed the proposal of the NCIE, the carbon data intensity for network energy performance mod, uh, monitoring. So discuss it in the SG5 plenary meeting of the uh, ITUT and already publish it. So this year, Huawei officially submitted a proposal on NEE 2.0 in NGMN. So on the basis of the measuring network energy efficiency, introducing the dimension of the user experience and expecting to evaluate the network energy efficiency while ensuring the user experience. So this methodology has been in recognized by the industry. So furthermore, so in terms of the evaluation of the indicators, we are doing joint innovations with the global operators in live network. So we have already so implemented this methodology in orange spin. So together, defining the green future network, maximizing the network energy efficiency while guaranteeing the user experience. Okay, important developments there. Um, now, as part of the NGMN's industry conference and exhibition in Paris, Huawei set up a booth that showed off a number of green network developments. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about those, please? Okay, so Huawei has already uh, been committed to work with the global operators to actively practice the ICT green development, improving the network energy efficiency and establishing the baseline and building a measurable indicator systems. We are doing the joint innovations with the global operators to study the multi-dimension, the energy efficiency factors and the evolution of the NEE 2.0 standard. So for example, so together with, with the orange spin, identify the different energy efficiency improvement the scenarios of uh, in the live network through the evaluation of the wireless network energy efficiency indicator, the uh, NEE RAN. And then after deploying the green solutions like the energy saving features, the average the energy efficiency of the, the network area in, uh, increased by over the 20%. So facing the green the future the target network, so we will continue to discuss and exploit the green solutions such as the, the modernization and the accelerating of the user traffic migration and so on. So for the green side, so we will work together with China Telecom to do the green side modern, modernization. So its original the central office is replaced by the full autodoor cell solutions. So like the blade power, blade battery, and the blade BBU. So the space of the central office is saved. The SAE increased from the 65% to the 96%. Also, 
Also, we have done the trial on the ATAR plus the Steve Athena with the one European operator. So STE increased by 17%. So with a Europe operator, after deploying our solar on grid solutions, so its ICE increased from 70% to 90%. And the renewable energy ratio re reached 24%, uh, 24%. Now, one of the hot topics related to green network developments is how the ICT sector can help other industries as well as individual consumers reduce their carbon footprints. Can you tell us about ICT as an enabler of the green economy and what are Huawei's efforts and proposals in this area? Yes, so definitely, so we call it the common handprint. So the ICT in that enabling from the green is indeed is a very hot topic. So we believe, so based on the capabilities of the vertical industry digitalization, the ICT industry can enable more than 10 times carbon emission reductions of themselves. So together with the operators and the verticals, we are enabling the energy saving and the emission reductions in major industries such as ports, transportation, and the steel, and so on. So we have made many successful practice. So for an example, in Tianjin Airport, so based on a Chinese operator's the 5G network and the autonomous driving technologies, to build an automatic terminal, as a result, around the 76 unmanned trunks operate in a limited space and the path can uh, pass smoothly, so its energy consumption is reduced by more than 20%. So the operating costs are decreased by the 10%, and the overall operating efficiency increased by 15%. So another example, a large steel company is in China as well. After deploying the technologies like the 5G Man crane and the 5G AR remote assistant in high-risk areas, it's the production efficiency of the factory increased by 60%. The yield rate of the steel improved. The width of the raw materials reduced greatly. So it's estimated in the coming three years, the carbon emissions per ton of the steel productions can be reduced by 5%. So really important developments there for not only the ICT sector, but for every single industry vertical as well. Uh, Dr. Song, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Bye bye.